Yes. In the, in the Glean on Sunday, you described mm -hmm. your 2008 challenge to Portia Simpson Miller's leadership in 2008 as ill-advised. Why? I, I, as I said, could be considered to be, yes. Why? Why ill-advised? Why, at, 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 in hindsight, and hindsight is always 2020 uh -huh. vision, but we were contesting to establish a point. And the point was that in every defeat that the party had incurred prior to that, P.J. Patterson never having had any because he won all his contests, he took over as prime minister and demitted office as prime minister. But all the party leaders that had uh, suffered defeat had offered the party and a chance to exercise judgment as to whether they should remain or depart. And that, that was an important tradition to be, to be, to be secured mm -hmm. and reinforced. But that, uh, but that, that but message that... was lost. Mm -hmm. And in the process, what we did was to dislodge another tradition, which was the tradition that you don't challenge a leader in office, so to speak, mm -hmm. which had served us as a party throughout the years. There had been some minor, uh, meaningless things from from you know some some folks along the way, but that I believe that in the end, dislodging that latter tradition may have opened a Pandora's box in the party. Yeah, and that that that, that came really back that, that was came back what, to haunt you. With, well, with the 2000... haunt is a hard word. I I don't feel any to be. I don't feel myself to be haunted, uh -huh. but it created a period of instability, and the party paid a very great price in the last elections because what the polling shows, the post-election polling, is that the single most important factor in the defeat was the was the view that the party was di was irretrievably divided. Mm -hmm. There, there is a sense that I didn't know until the run up to last year and the general elections. Yes, is he hearing me? Are you hearing me, Doctor Phillips? Yes, I'm hearing you. Good. The extent to which so many of Mrs. Simpson Miller's supporters haven't forgiven you for not only that 2008 challenge, but they feel that you pushed her into the February 2016 elections one year too early. That many of them haven't forgiven you for that. What do you say to them? Well, I, 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 I don't have the same sense of it. I can't dispute it, of course. But many of her supporters um, supported my my uh, assumption of the office of president in 2017. Mm -hmm. I, I think the vast majority did. Um, hence, there was no... Um, contest, but about 2016, it wasn't. Um, it wasn't. Uh, certainly, I wasn't pushing anything. It was a. It was a. 